What's up? It's week four. Oh my god, I'm so excited to tell you guys. I'm so excited to tell you guys. Okay, but first I gotta play the song. One second. So I'm pretty sure last week I predicted that I was gonna be like 215, 214, something like that, right? Right. So first of all, like I don't know if it's because of the fruit or not, but this round has been way more consistent with the losses. Like last round, I lost like 10 pounds the first week, which is the same that happened here, even though I didn't have all that crazy loading weight the first time. Um, but then after that, it was like four pounds, six pounds, or three pounds, seven pounds. Like it kept equating to 10 pounds every two weeks after that first week, but it would be so like flippy floppy. Um, and this time it's like one pound within each other pretty much. And it's like so cool because I feel like if it continues this way, first of all, I'm definitely going to hit Wonderland. I think if the weight loss doesn't slow down, I should probably be around 190 when this is over. Possibly the 180s. I'm going to lose my mind if I end up in the 180s. Like I'm going to lose my mind when I get into Wonderland regardless, but like, my projection, I did some math, right? My pro my projection is definitely saying the lower to mid 190s. If I hit the 180s, uh, I'm gonna have to show off and show out, definitely, definitely. But still like stick to, you know, my, my lifestyle change. Um, but definitely, probably wearing some outfits I haven't worn in a long time to places unnecessary, like, you know, the dress I used to wear to the club. I might have to wear it to the grocery store. Just so that I can show the world, look what I did. I'm almost skinny, y'all. Like, I don't know. I feel some extraness brewing, depending upon where I end on that scale. Another experiment of mine has been uh, sugar-free whipped cream, which I find at the Walmart. Uh, it's delicious and it's sugar-free. Oh yeah, I definitely told y'all about this uh, week one's video. <laughs> I, uh, oh my God. Sorry, somebody is in the room with me right now and it's causing a scene. Y'all can't see. Anyway, uh, I do limit it to once or twice a week and I'll typically have it with like a handful of the Quest Protein chips. I don't know if I mentioned that part because I know that I've been able to have a little bit of those and not see a backlash. Um, and that's just so nice because you know, you miss that crunchiness of a chip and it really really satisfies that craving and i like sweet and salty so having that combination of stuff together is nice and i still haven't had any issues on the scale or anything like i don't think it's stopping me from losing and the other little treat that i have sometimes is uh this hard candy which i don't enjoy but being on hcg i've developed an appreciation for it, it definitely helped me in p3 um just like i get them from the local grocery store i have ralph's i don't know what y'all have and you probably find them at walmart too but just like the regular hard sugar-free candy so you know i just like pop one and it just kind of like satiates that craving for uh sugar i guess but you don't have to deal with that major setback if it were regular candy with regular sugar and i try not to have more than one of those a day or none if i can help it so they helped me along and that's just something I feel like you guys should know. Like I don't consider that cheating. It's just another adaption that I've tested and realized that it doesn't hurt my progress. So I don't see it as a big deal. I'm not overindulging. I feel like it's a safe thing while I work on, you know, not trying to rely on food for some sort of pleasure. But this is definitely, you know, a tough diet to do. A tough, not only say diet, tough program to do when you get rid of all the sugar and all the carbs, kind of cold turkey. Yeah, I think it's worth a shot. Or if you feel like it would be a, too much of a trigger for you, then definitely don't do it. Like I said, I just want you guys to be informed and know what works and what doesn't, at least for me. And then you can, you know, try it at your own discretion. All right, so you know how I've been saying probably like in every single video that I was gonna do inches and I didn't do inches? Well, I did them. So, wow, that was obnoxious. Okay, but I'm proud that like, I'm not gonna let you guys down this time. I actually took my inches. Well, yeah, no, I did. I was gonna say half, but that's not true. I took them all, but I only had improvement on half my body. So yes, I took them all, 
but there's only half of a report to give you. After taking them, my lower body, even though it feels like I've had some uh, improvements, my thighs are kind of the same since day one. Um, and it's like a, well, like a 15 pound loss so far. So yeah, I don't know. Maybe they changed in other areas, but the places that I typically measure, there wasn't really any improvement there, but that's okay, that's cool because the main improvement came from my torso and that's like where it matters. I like barely have a booty so I'm fine if my thighs don't go down any further because like I'm hanging on by a thread to the, to, to what I do have and um, I wouldn't be mad if it stayed. But you know, whatever the plan is, that that's fine. The universe, I just need you to take off the extra weight. So if the universe decides that I'm just supposed to have the booty I got or I'm supposed to have less, I'm fine with that, you know, team pancake, like it's, it's all good. Um, okay, and then the rest is, let me see, gotta get my paper for you guys, you know, be accurate, accurate. Y'all ever seen that video of DJ Khaled where he was like, you gotta be real accurate. I die every time I watch that because he was talking about one of his methods of success and how important accuracy is and then he said it wrong. No shade. I understand that he doesn't pronounce everything correctly. I love DJ Khaled. But for that moment to happen was just the best hysterical moment ever. Love that guy. On the smallest part of my waist, I lost an inch, which is absolutely fantastic. And let's see. Over here, it says, no, I'm just kidding. I take like three measurements on my stomach. It's like my waist and then like the belly button. And then you know how you get that little like back fat in the back where it might just be sticking out just a little bit, but it's not in the middle of your back, so it doesn't count. I count that too. That's my lower belly, right? Uh, so that one lost, oh, one inch. So pretty much all around my torso, I lost an inch in several different areas, which is kind of cool, because I just, like, that's one of the magic things about HCG to me, like, you lose the inches in the trouble spots, and the, the gut is, like, the worst of them all. Like, that's the main thing. You lose all that weight, and then you still have your little, uh, you know, your belly. So it's really awesome that I've lost an inch kind of all over. Even like the, the bra line, same thing. On my bra line, I actually lost like an inch and a half. So I'm happy with that, you know? Like I say, every time the goal of this thing is to look thinner. Like that's what I want. I don't really care about the number on the scale. I just want my clothes to fit better. And I just want to, you know, feel and look thin. And that's that's fine with me. So yeah, it's been a good week. I'm excited. I definitely, definitely feel like I'm gonna get to come back to you guys and tell you I'm in the two tens um, in the next video, as long as it stays consistent. And if not, that's cool too, but <laughs> I want the two tens. All right, I'm rambling, I'm sorry, I'm gonna go. Thank you for watching as usual. I'm watching y'all's videos. I actually carve out special time during the week to watch y'all's videos. That way I'm an active participant of the YouTube society. That's me. I feel like I should have a gold star right here. Come on, make a gold star up here. See, that's the active participant star. All right, well I'm gonna go now. See you next week. Bye. See you.